boys we're here we're here look i see ken silver's truck right there i don't know if y'all can see that on the video but we got to find somewhere to park long guys every which of ways every which of ways yeah man Woo. apparently somebody else come to the expo too it wasn't wasn't just me and you oh man yeah all right let's get parked get in there you see open gie says it right there on the building i don't know if y'all can see that either it's cool darn that's awesome turn off my gps look here's the echo truck boom boys this is crazy like uh i've been here four years and usually out in this far deck you can uh you can find somewhere uh there's ken silver's truck again you can usually find somewhere if you're in the far out parking and i'm in the far out and i don't see nothing which is awesome you know it's just awesome for our industry that there's like this many people you know they're showing up for it um not sure where we're going to park but uh yeah it's cool it's really cool um what a cool thing you know what i mean it's a great thing that there's this many just check it out i mean there is no i've rode down like half of all these aisles you know like um man just slam slammed so we gonna find somewhere i think like all these people are just like riding around we're not even being picky like you know try to find like the spot you want no 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 you just any spot that's open usually do chance um daily hustle picture thing uh, out here and there's usually not many trucks out there but it's uh it's totally full out there too so i don't know i don't know but uh that's crazy but wow like i said i think it's awesome i think it's awesome for our industry and you know all that it's a great thing it's a great problem to have that you have so many people showing up so Anyway, let's try to find a spot. We'll get inside. I'm missing the talk right now, which I want to go to. <laughs> All right, boys, we're here. Check it out. Okay, I'll go see if I can catch some of the talk. Let's go. Anytime you see me do this, or you hear the preparatory words, commit, commit. Alright guys, I'm trying to get a free shirt. Alright guys, so I've ran into a few people, but uh yeah. These are the first guys, well, sorry, probably like second or third guys that I put up put on my video. But uh, I keep running into guys. I don't always remember to put them on my video. But these guys make videos, so they won't be, uh, you know, they won't feel weird about it if you put them on there, you know. Because some people, it's, you know, it's Boy, weird about it. Whoa, that's extreme. What's up, guys? <laughs> Yo. Hi. All right. See y'all soon. I'm going to try to actually look at stuff. All right. Yeah. Let's look at it. Yeah. Electric stand on mower. A lot of it depends on how that's crazy. That's crazy. It looks awesome. Vanguard lithium. Super awesome. Come on, in. Man. Best show ever. Already best show ever. Let's go. The guy was just talking to me about that electric mower. That seems super cool. That electric Ferris. They're gonna. It won't be coming out for a few years, but they're gonna have different deck sizes. You can change it. Remember this? I had, used to have this mower, and um, I want to go look at. Look at this. The new uh, 
FW15. And look, they have a bagger set up for it. So yeah, that's a, you know, they didn't have a bagger at first, but now they do look like they even have a snapper version of the bagger. Oh man, so many cool things. Look, they even have, a oh, look at this. The 35 walk behind, thinking about this. Look at this, they even have uh, food for everyone. They're just uh, super nice and they provide it. Look at this uh, little 400Z. Pretty awesome little mower, especially for the money. I mean, it's really nice. And 4500 has suspension. Super cool, super cool. All right, guys. So I ran into Jay's Crazy Cuts. They went to the uh, the Louisville. Show them how. Look how they got it like engraved on there. They went because you know they have like a. It's like the place where they make these bats, the Louisville Slugger. And so, what they're gonna do is, um, at 1,000 subscribers, they're gonna give away this bat and have like people sign it and stuff like that. So y'all be sure to subscribe to their channel because you might could uh, win this bat. <laughs> is there anything they can do to up their chances and, or cheat in any way? Uh, subscribe to Jay's Crazy Guys. Yeah, or you can, uh, <laughs> maybe you could make more fake accounts and then subscribe to them a bunch Absolutely. of times. That probably would help, <laughs> yes. you know what I mean? So, anyway, it's great to see you guys. All right. It was nice to finally meet you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll see you again. Mm -hmm. I plan to. We're meeting tomorrow at 9 at the... Nice to meet you, too. All right, guys. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but, uh, I've seen a few sneak pictures and things here and there. But, um... Let's call the chariot, and I'm gonna let the man Corey Reese and give us an overview because I don't know, I don't know much about it, so yep. he will help us. Just like tell us what it is if we didn't know anything about it. I mean, I know. So it. it's a zero-turn, foot-operated uh, utility vehicle, allowing your hands to be free to utilize the equipment that you already have. You simply step on and off here in the middle. You sit down, situate your butt, your knees to the knee pad. There, it's all foot-operated. You come around this side over here. You got your brake. The brake release is really easy. You just push it back. Wow. Now you can operate everything with your feet so that your hands are free to use the equipment that you already have. Right, so you can yeah. use weed eater, edger, blower. And it, it, I think it worked for a blower because you have a, the cushion is low enough you know, yeah. where you can clean yeah. the backpack. Every, everything was designed so that you got full maneuverability with all of your equipment. That's why this is all shaped the way it is so that you're not hitting the seat, hitting the knee pad with any of your equipment. We got your sprayer attachment. You got over there. You got your uh, spreader attachment. All oh, the wow. attachments. So you put your spreader on there. Yes. Yeah. All the attachments simply slide into place. There's no nuts, wow. bolts, tools, anything so locking down. So it has a built-in like your Roundup sprayer. Some, some change. With a retractable, retractable thing. hose. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. This this is this is optional. Yeah. I mean, so you can get it without that. If you don't want. Yeah. The base model will come with two five-gallon gas tanks. This oh, this wow. is optional. Or, or, or wow. This is awesome. And then. Uh, this little bucket here, you can uh, put some weed ear string or whatever. Yeah, so that you can change everything on the fly. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. And uh, how does it, does it have to be perfect flat or can you use it on? So, you know, 15 degrees is basically anywhere you can take a zero turn mower, you can put this machine. I got gotcha. you. You know, of course, you always got to be conscious about right. it and fill everything out. So, you can do a little yeah, bit of a slow. Yeah, yeah. And then, for, the, for those that like to do all their own maintenance, we made it with maintenance in mind. So, everything's easy to get to. Uh, this front face plate, four bolts, two on the front, two on the back. The whole face plate comes off. This lifts up. Um, if you want to release the hydros, it simply lift up, pull out. That way, you can move the machine around without having to crank it up. Uh, but we do all of our own maintenance, so we wanted everything to be easy to get to so that you can maintain the machine on the fly. That has a little Honda engine, which those are great. Yeah, it has 10.2 engine, 2200 uh, series hydro gear. Wow. Well, thank you, buddy. Yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, and thank you for giving me, you got me this stuff for oh, Did you get some uh, stickers? I did not. Actually. <laughs> Let's get you some stickers. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Here's the uh, 
Sorry, my mic keeps on flipping over to the wrong side. Anyway, Skag Patriot, Freedom Z, and like mine, the Liberty Z, the new updated version with the black, has the white tires. These are something I'm still considering. I'm going to ask the guy um, what the uh, advantages of the Freedom Z is, because I know the Hydras are the same and those kind of things. But I'm going to ask him about that. Patriot looks pretty awesome, too. Yeah, Skag Mowers, man. Look at this system on that thing. That's cool. These things are cool. Big old thing that's sucked up. All right, guys, that's the 500i. It's fuel injection, fuel injection chainsaw. I believe that's the first one ever um, that was made. That's a fuel injection chainsaw. So that's cool. I'm gonna go over here and look at the BR800 if I can find it. Uh, I've been trying to find the uh, the blowers, but they're over here somewhere. Yeah. All right, Amy, I'm here. Let's look at, you know, I'm thinking about getting, uh, trying to find the BR-800. Uh, a lot of people are almost in here. <laughs> it's a two-man operation. It's not so good. Guys, I do like the way this feels. It feels really good. So you're gonna come in at 23 pounds with the X model, and I believe 25 something with the C model. Guys, look at these Ram truck. This thing is beautiful. cameras and whatnot. Uh, 56 mile an hour there. <laughs> Alright boys, let's go over and look at the right mowers real quick. The standard B and all the other ones they got. I just think it would be cool. Let's look at look at this. This is like a, your new like entry level one. Pretty awesome. Standard B. Let's check it out. I want to look at the walk behind they have too, but these standards.
Here's the countryside mower right here. Oh, yeah. One thing about it is something to comment is. That thing is huge. It's hard to tell it. That thing is so big. Look at this. Uh, right zero turns are something that I feel like people don't really talk about much, but pretty cool. This uh, 48 is something I'm considering. This right 48 is something I'm considering. I want to want to drive it outside and see how that feels. See, I want to see how hard it is to squeeze this, you know what I mean? Like when it's running. I think they have them kind of just locked up right now. But that's something I want to figure out. So. All right, Mr. Mike Zavitz, we're over here at the Toro booth on Wednesday and get some footage of stuff. I have no idea what stuff is new or not, but I'll try to just show you each mower they have over here. You know, and then you can know something's new. They got this uh, 2000 HDX, which looks really cool. So let's go for a look. Looks like they have a new uh, walk behind. I don't think this has always had it. Alright buddy, it's pretty much what's sitting inside. Let's keep moving. Is that the cutest 
the cutest Toro mower's hat ever. Let me pull River out, I'll walk down. Okay, let me give it a second. But man, let's look at these Hustler mowers. It's almost time to close here in 30 minutes. It'll be close. But I'm gonna try to get the last bit of footage I can. I've been talking to a lot of the brands because I'm buying a mower in the next month or so. So I've been talking to a lot of brands, asking a lot of specifics, kind of diving in deep, if you will, about a lot of things, which is awesome. That's one of the best parts about coming to the expo. So I haven't been able to hit every single brand yet or anything like that, you know, only in the first few hours on Wednesday. I haven't been able to like see everything I want to see by no means. I've probably been to like 10 booths, um, but there are some major ones that I knew that I wanted to go to. So let's look at all, look at this. This is like maybe one of their biggest models they have. Super Z. System. Let's walk around and just look at every single mower that they have. Look at this. Keeps all the debris out. As y'all know, I, I like the Hustler mowers. Even their, uh, even the residential ones, even the commercial ones. I like them in general. So let's just take a quick look at all. Flex works on the front. Carrying it on there, you stick it in there to hold on. What is this? Do you know? It looks like for having your bow on your back, you sit there, so when you get ready to blow off. Oh, that's awesome. That's what so, it looks like to me. Yeah, he's saying that's a good idea. This gentleman, I was over here just wondering what this tube is. I think he's right. I think you stick your backpack blower in here. It's got these little openings right here. Yes, yeah, so you so ride down and throw it off the driveways or something. Yeah. Man, that's cool. Wow. I didn't expect to see that. That's nifty. That's pretty cool. Bro. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Look at this one. Big awesome. old. It's a stand-on mower. It's a stand-on mower, but it's like one of those uh, hundred inches. So that's uh, that's crazy. Never seen that before. Here's a little Super S, a little small one. Those are neat. I hope. I think they do have an outdoor booth this year. They didn't last year. But I think they do this time. Fast track. Great mower. 60-inch uh, SDX, Raptor SDX. It's got the cool grip sign. My man Supreme Services has one of these. Um, the trim starts, kind of like the dirt bike setup. I know uh, NW Long Dog has one of these. But man, I've seen so many awesome YouTubers and so many people. I've ran to a bunch already. I didn't show them all in video, but I mean, I ran to a whole bunch of them. And uh, but here's the rest of Here's like the little hustle raptor with the flip up deck which is super cool um raptor limited it's got the flex forks on it sorry i know you can't hear me really good if with the mic not pointing towards me but it's got flex forks here's like a base base model raptor here's a copper creek cuts or somehow this is the cutest mower ever the uh the hustler dash it is super cute So the, this is pretty much all the Hustler ones. Um, and then of course they have the same thing in the big dog line. So look at this MBB. River want to sit in there and mess with the steering wheel. So I'm going to get him and sit in there with it. Oil guard system. Yeah, buddy. Well, it's kind of like that. I want, I want to get that on one of my mowers. But um, yeah. So super awesome. You know, I've had a... My, I've had a Hustler mower before. My dad's had a couple different ones. They've been great. Here's the uh, big, big dog lineup of the same thing, red or yellow. I kind of like the yellow ones. And uh, anyway, yeah, let's keep going. All right, guys, we're over here at the Hustler booth. And look, they let they let River beat the horn in here. They turned the key on, which I advised against. So they did. And look what they gave them. They gave them this little um little model of the MDV Hustler. MDV, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. <laughs> and uh, super awesome. So super cool folks. Yeah. Alright. We're here at O'Charlie's. The people at O'Charlie's were great to host us and they've been awesome. Yeah. And uh, so we're all here. Eating some food. I got chicken tender and people got stuff that's uh, more adventurous than that. But just not me. <laughs> 
French dip. French dip with mozzarella. Check mold this oil. out. <laughs> hey, hey, Tony, check this out. This is a chopped chop steak, steak with bacon, it's mashed potatoes, and they, look at what they put on that. Man, that's, that's looking good. Uh -huh. nice. All right. Well, we meet up having dinner. Tomorrow's another day. Day one's in the books, pretty much. See ya.